a margin now of three seconds. He can take some of the load off the tyre and himself. He lines it up. Squirts it out the other side. Hangs it off the rear tyre. And Chaz Mostert yeah, has picked yeah, up his mate. first well victory done. of 2022. Well done, well done Chaz. Home by 2.7 yeah, seconds. Yeah, boys. Good job. Over Brody Requesting Kostecki. a burnout, mate. Requesting a burnout. The beautiful drive by Brody. Uh, the engine had a pretty hard time today. I think we just have to look after it. OK, buddy? So just look after it, mate. Anton Di Pasquale comes home in third position for the final place <laughs> on the podium. Robbie Starr and Joe Sasso and all the guys, Brucey Stewart. How could that? Oh, all off the road there. Hazelwood and Winterbottom. Where is that now? Is that Corporate Hill? Did you see that? That's the last lap of the race after all that work and trouble for Pitha limping across the line. So. Did you, that was Mark Winterbottom's voice in the yeah. background. Did you see that? And I think we'll wait and understand what's gone on here. But that looked like it was pretty wild stuff. So clearly a moment between Hazelwood and Winterbottom. And these guys are having a discussion about it. And Mark Winterbottom shaking his head. And Todd Hazelwood explaining what's unfolded. So I've got no idea what's gone on there. Neither do I. He doesn't agree with him. <sighs> Seriously. After all that work, he levered the position. And Di Pasquale, we understand, just did that on his own. And it's actually done some left-hand front-wheel damage. So he's hit the fence. whatever he's done, he's, hit the fence he's actually sure. whacked the wall, as well as pulling up a few kilos of mud in the process. Belongs to this guy over here, Todd Hazelwood. So let's see whether or not we can find out what happened. Because after the chequered flag, I believe, he ended up getting tangled up with Mark Winterbottom. Hey, Todd, I saw you in yeah. earnest conversation with Mr Winterbottom. What on earth happened? Mate, I just aquaplaned across the front straight here. I had a decent run onto the final, off the final corner onto the front straight, and, yeah, Frosty and I went side by side, and he squeezed me right up against the wall, which I had got no problems with. That's, that's hard racing. But, yeah, then I just hit a puddle, hit a white line. I was basically spun out from start-finish line all the way to one. I was locked up and just and, a passenger. And this was after the chicken flag? Yeah, so it was either wreckers or checkers, I guess, if you call it. So full NASCAR style. But, yeah, obviously I ran up to the car just to apologise. And obviously, yeah, he very animated, as, as I probably would be too in his shoes. So, yeah, just wanted to go up and apologise. But wild race. <laughs> You've moved squads. Truck assist backing on the car. Matt Stone Racing, how was the first weekend, apart from that full stop? Yeah, apart from right at the end. It's, it was, you know, obviously the team coming to this point thinking it was a bit of a bogey track, but I think the team did a mega job. Can't thank everyone enough, but Truck Assist Racing done a tremendous amount of work behind the scenes leading into this weekend. I think as the team appeals and visually, it, it's really hit the mark at the start of the season and we're only just getting started. So, yeah, really exciting times. Good to see you, mate. Hope things work out. Look forward to seeing you in Tasmania. This was a sad story also. The Jack LeBrock car, car number 34. They left it out there on a Dunlop slick tyre. They tried to do their best. I spoke to Pete Vale, who's disappeared. He's the new team manager here. He came from Brad Jones Racing. They gambled. They lost. One of those things that happens. But he almost got a result. We'll go for a bit more of a wander and just see what else is going on. I've got a huge amount of echo going, guys. So I'm going to pluck the earpieces out. So everybody in the truck, you can't talk to me anymore. So I'm just going to have to figure out what happens. So, Charlie Schwerkolt, Team 18, I want to have a talk to him because this is the other side of the story. Charles, what happened down there? I just had a bit of a word to young Todd. G'day, Krusty. Uh, what was the story? Not too bad, mate. How are you? And yeah, a bit of a rough end uh, for poor old Frosty there. He uh, over the finish line and uh, Todd did a silly thing and didn't back off, I think, and decided to take him out after the line. You've gone NASCAR spec. You blokes dusting up after the flag now, are you? going to get duking on? Oh, I wouldn't mind, actually. <laughs> Bring him down and we'll film that if you want. But um, what do you do when someone does something dumb and they come up and say sorry and they're looking at you all? <laughs> what do you do? Oh, that's the biggest crash I've had in my career after the flag. I, I can't believe I actually can't believe it, but anyway. So he got into the back of it? Uh, yeah, it just hit me at 2.40 in the back um, at Turn 1, which is about 200, 300 metres after the flag. So he apologised. Oh, 
What do you say? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I think he feels pretty ordinary about it. Uh, let's change topics, and uh, there's no easy way out of that conversation. You're going to be frustrated. <laughs> he doesn't know what to say. You've got a damaged car. You're yeah. breaking out the credit card. Yeah. Seiko 5 Racing. So you put a deal together for Scotty, yeah. and it looked pretty solid today by comparison to the misery last night. Yeah, we had a bit of a tough day yesterday with a power steering hose fail, but today was really good. It was uh, glimpses of right up there. It was good, and uh, Friday's tyres, I think, and uh, just didn't quite get there, and then got shuffled down the back, and uh, anyway, we finished well. Stay positive, boys. Keep <laughs> smiling, Frosty. Did you get a water skiing over summer? <laughs> no? I, want a, I want a UFC right now. The water is not on the agenda. Right, I, can't, I can't even get him to gag with me at the moment. We'll see you in Tassie, boys. Thanks for the chat.